Yeah. yeah. Do you have any goals? I guess. Uh, I was thinking of like uh, doing some biceps, triceps, and uh, some like upper body. Biceps, triceps, and upper body. Yeah. Okay. Is it is it too much or? No, or not at all. Not at all. How long do you typically train for? Like maybe like 15 minutes. 15? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. We can do a quick, quick workout. So we'll probably do like two warm-up exercises because we just finished eating, just to kind of get the you know get the heart rate up a little bit, a little bit of blood flow. Just two warm-up, and then maybe we can do like three to four exercises, like bicep, tricep, and like two upper body exercises. That's perfect. The first thing we're gonna do are called shoulder dislocates. Mm -hmm. So. Before we even start, we want to stand nice and tall with, like, you know, in a good posture. So with our shoulders back, with our core engaged, our glutes tight, and then from this position, we're basically just going to go. Um, so with the band, it's it's easy to choose where you want to hold the band from, right? So when you're starting out, you can start a little bit further. It's like just with just your thumb, and then you can go up and around until the band hits your lower back butt, and then you come up and around. And you're maintaining your tall posture throughout the movement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do the stretch. Yeah. Yeah. So then, then as as you get warmed up or as you get more advanced, then you can grip it, you know, closer and closer to get a little bit more stretch. Oh. Yeah. So that's the, the cool thing about bands, how easily adjustable they are. So we'll just do the same thing with the body. We're going to be a nice, upright, uh, you know, good posture to your shoulder position. And from here, we're going to Again, you grab the bump of the band based on your, your level, so you can start kind of further away. Um, and then you're just basically going to squeeze your shoulder blades together by pulling your arms apart. So you're going to feel, you should feel it in your upper back and also in the back of your shoulder. Because it's more like using just one of the bands initially, and then the second one kicks in like towards the end. Like this. So this is warm-up warm -up exercise number two, band pull the parts. A good, a good amount of light too. Oh, but it's <laughs> so for tricep, and try to keep your elbows close together. It will create more tension in your tricep. Oh. Yeah, as you press up. Yeah, I'm sure you can feel it. Your arms are shaking already. At the time. So like, once you work your way up, you can start doing one arm at a time. Oh. But it's the same movement as you can tell. It's still in the long head of the tricep. But fixed here. So I have it on just my thumb like this. Mm -hmm. Just just one thumb. This is the overhead transverse. So, so you, the starting position is up here, which is already pretty hard. Mm -hmm. I can deal with my shoulder too. And then you come down and try to keep your elbow fixed and pull up with your tricep, contract your tricep. Yeah, so if that's too hard, well, another way to do it is you can come down on the ground. And this will make it a lot easier, you know? Like oh, this. that. Oh, not yeah, so you can do on the ground. You can do a kneeling or you can do on a chair as well. But it's, it's the same movement. You're just we're just adjusting the band tension. And if I come down, it'll make it harder because the, there's more band tension, right? Or if I stand up here, this is a little bit too easy for me. So I would just grab it higher, grab it up here, and then here you now you have more band tension, higher intensity. You do your triceps, tricep push down. You want to try this one? Tricep push down. Yeah, this is so, so you can stay a little bit closer. Like you can start here. Nice. Going to sweat. We're going to do a little workout. Then we'll just do a couple upper body exercises. We did bicep, we did triceps. I was counting that. I feel it more like in my legs, my hamstring, but if I kind of go more like this, then I can use more back. But this, yeah, this is the basic movement. Yeah. Good. Stay nice and tall on top. Good. I can see you squeezing your upper back. I can see your upper back getting engaged. Yeah, overhead press. Nice. Working your back and also your biceps too. 